In the heart of a lush emerald forest, a small animated hedgehog named Hodge was just beginning his day. As the sun peeked over the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, Hodge stirred from his cozy burrow beneath the roots of an ancient oak tree. Hodge was not your average hedgehog. He was curious, adventurous, yet somewhat cautious. He had a keen eye for the unusual, and an insatiable thirst for discovery that was as vast as the forest he called home. His heart was as warm as the soft, golden sunlight that filtered through the canopies above, and his spirit, as vibrant as the myriad of wildflowers that carpeted the forest floor. On this particular morning, as Hodge was going about his daily routine, sniffing out breakfast, taking a dewy bath in the morning light, and greeting the forest's inhabitants, he stumbled upon something that instantly piqued his interest. It was an object unlike anything he'd ever seen before, glimmering amidst the undergrowth. It was not a leaf, nor was it a stone. This was something entirely different, something utterly captivating. With his heart pounding in his tiny chest, Hodge inched closer, his eyes wide with curiosity and a hint of trepidation. His quills bristled in anticipation as he neared the strange object his tiny paws leaving soft imprints on the mossy forest floor. His mind was a whirl of questions. What could this object be? How did it end up here in his forest? Was it lost, or had it been left here intentionally? And most importantly, what could this mean for his usual peaceful forest life? The forest seemed to hold its breath as Hodge reached out a tentative paw, his excitement mingling with a pinch of apprehension. The moment of truth was upon him, and as he finally touched the object, he realized what it was. As Hodge approached the object, he realized it was a shiny gold key. On the other side of the forest, a majestic tiger named Tawny was pacing restlessly. She was not just any ordinary tiger. She was known for her strength and assertiveness, her fiery eyes reflecting her indomitable spirit. Her roar could shake the forest, and her stride, graceful yet powerful, commanded respect from all creatures big and small. However, today was different. Tawny's usual confident aura was replaced by a sense of worry and frustration. Her fiery eyes, now filled with distress, scanned the forest floor, her paws rustling the fallen leaves in a frantic search. The forest, which always seemed to bow to her presence, now seemed indifferent, offering no clues to her predicament. You see, Tawny had lost something precious something that meant the world to her. It was a small, intricately carved key, the only one that could open her treasure chest. This wasn't just any treasure, mind you. It wasn't filled with gold or jewels, but with memories of her cubhood, tokens of her past adventures and keepsakes from loved ones, all preciously stored within its wooden confines. This loss had shaken Tawny. It was as if a part of her was missing, a part she held dear. Her usual assertive self seemed distant. The forest, which usually echoed with her confident roars, was eerily silent, its inhabitants sensing the change in their queen. Tawny's vulnerability was something the forest hadn't witnessed before. It made her more relatable, more real. It showed that even the strongest have their moments of weakness, that even the bravest face dilemmas that seem insurmountable, it was a side of Tawny that the forest hadn't seen, but it was a side that made her even more admirable. With a sigh, Tawny murmured, Where could I have possibly lost the key to my treasure chest? She looked at the setting sun, its rays casting long shadows, her hunt for the key far from over. But Tawny was not one to give up. She knew the forest held the answer to her dilemma, and she was determined to find it. High above in a towering tree, a wise pigeon named Pippin observed the entire scene unfold. Perched on the highest branch, where the wind whispered secrets and the leaves rustled tales, lived Pippin. A pigeon, unlike any other, Pippin was old and wise, with feathers as grey as the clouds before a storm, and eyes that held the mysteries of countless stories. He had a heart full of wisdom, and a mind full of clever solutions, making him the go-to advisor for all the creatures in the forest. In his vast experience of life, he had seen many a tale unfold beneath the whispering leaves of his tree. Tales of joy, tales of sorrow, and tales of the extraordinary. Today, he was bearing witness to yet another story, 
a story that had the potential to be as enchanting as any he had ever seen. From his lofty perch, Pippin had seen the curious hedgehog Hodge discover something unusual. He had also seen the tiger, Tawny, in his state of distress, his eyes reflecting a story that was yet to be told. With his keen intellect and sharp intuition, Pippin quickly pieced together the fragments of the unfolding narrative. He fluffed his feathers, adjusted his spectacles, and let out a thoughtful coo. He realized that he held the key to a solution that could bring together the paths of the hedgehog and the tiger. He knew that this was a story he could not just observe from the sidelines. He knew he had to step in, to guide, to help, and to ensure a happy ending for all. With a flutter of his wings, he took off from his perch, leaving behind the rustling leaves and the whispering wind. As he descended towards the ground, his heart was filled with the thrill of the unknown, the excitement of a new story, and the satisfaction of being a part of something bigger than himself. With a twinkle in his eye, Pippin flew down to Hodge and said, I believe I know someone who could use that key you found. A hesitant Hodge and a hopeful Tawny met under the old oak tree. The cool shade of its leaves offered a solace from the afternoon sun, setting the stage for an unusual conversation. Hodge, the hedgehog, was a creature of the undergrowth, more used to the rustling leaves and the company of earthworms. Tawny, the tiger, was a creature of the open jungle, used to the thrill of the chase and the roar of the wild. Yet here they were, under the old oak tree, ready to negotiate an unlikely alliance. Hodge, despite his prickly exterior, was a creature of wisdom and wit. Tawny, though fierce and mighty, was in a predicament that needed Hodge's help. The hedgehog, wary of the tiger's intentions, was initially reluctant. But Tawny, with his earnest plea and genuine humility, touched a chord in Hodge's heart. Despite their differences, they found a common ground. It was the shared respect for each other's strengths that bridged the gap. The hedgehog's wisdom and the tiger's strength could complement each other in ways they had never imagined before. It was a realization that brought an unexpected warmth to their interaction. The tiger's dilemma had brought them together, but it was their willingness to listen and understand each other that forged their alliance. The pigeon's proposal, seemingly absurd at first, now made perfect sense. The power of cooperation and friendship was beginning to unfold before their eyes. Their conversation under the old oak tree was the beginning of a new bond, a bond that transcended their differences and fears. It was a testament to the fact that unity can be found in the most diverse of places, and that friendship can blossom even in the wildest of hearts. With a newfound respect for each other, Hodge handed Tawny the key, and the tiger's face lit up with relief and gratitude. As the sun set on the forest, Hodge, Tawny and Pippin celebrated their successful day. What a journey it had been! From an unexpected encounter to an unlikely alliance, their story was one to remember. Hodge, the brave hedgehog, had shown that courage comes in all sizes. Tawny, the majestic tiger, had proved that kindness is the true strength of a leader. And Pippin, the wise pigeon, had demonstrated that wisdom often comes from the most unexpected places. Together, they had overcome challenges that seemed insurmountable, turning a day of despair into one of joy and camaraderie. They had discovered that the essence of friendship lies in helping each other, working together, and looking beyond appearances. Their story served as a reminder to all the forest's inhabitants that no matter how big or small, everyone has a role to play, and every act of kindness counts. And so, the forest went to sleep, filled with the echoes of laughter and a valuable lesson learned, that unity and kindness always triumph,